Good morning, Manira here. How are you? Hope you had a good weekend. I'm talking about small businesses today because I went to a workshop and I learned a lot. And one of the things that really struck me was that um, there are 85% of America's economy is run by small businesses. And one of the key benefits to owning a small business apart, is be, apart from being your own boss and you're helping people changing your hobby into a business is that you may be able to enjoy tax breaks that are not available to employees, such as hiring other family members or income splitting. In his book, Hal Arad, the book is called The Miracle Morning, says that 95% of the people struggle their entire lives because they fail to work on a personal development, fail to start the day off right, and fail to, live, fail to choose to live differently. Why is that? Because we've seen our parents do it the same way, we've seen our peers do it, and we see our coworkers do it. So according to the Entrepreneur Magazine, accounting and tax services that take, that happens in the United States, 18% of the net profit of that, of that whole tax profit is generated by small businesses. So the question then is, why isn't everybody jumping on the small business bandwagon? Well, the three most common excuses are idea is number one. Well, if you are struggling with ideas, look around you. What what are you passionate about? Can you change your passion into a business? Can you change your hobby into a business? Or my advice is to watch a few Shark Tank episodes in which which will allow the juices to flow. It's just sometimes that you need a little nudge so that your juices begin to flow. Um, most people talk to me and say they don't know how to do it. Well, there are a lot of articles, there are a lot of um, government of offices that help you with this, and they encourage small businesses because, again, it's the backbone of the economy. So if you go to your local county or city offices, they will be able to guide you. And sometimes it's not always cut, right, uh, cut dry, like I did, I went to the county offices, I was sent to the city offices, then I was sent to the big county offices, but there is information there. And there are a lot of organizations that help women, especially in minority women, to start up a business. And the third one is the money to start up. Most people will say I don't have the money to start up. Well, most people start, I have ideas and they work on off of a napkin. So have the idea and want to start up, let's just start with one. It's the first step that counts. But there is, again, most businesses like the small MLMs or bigger businesses, they have, they have provisioned and they have created some way of providing the funding to their staff and members that want to join their organization because they know that this is such a wonderful opportunity. Well, I hope you take this like a grain of salt and begin your own business. And I am looking forward to hearing from you, your comments and likes. See you next time. Thank you.